Hi, it's me again with Krill Roll Tips and Tricks. This is really probably part three. I did a video with uh, Jason Ram and we compared dogs and if you didn't watch part two, but I, and I made plenty of videos on photo grade, but I'm gonna do this one in photo grade just to show you how easy it is. Uh, you know, it's a no brainer. Uh, Jason does a great job. But he, you know, there's different variables and you got to think about those variables. Photograve does it all. So first of all, I want to do, I'm going to make my, my bed size uh, seven by five. And I'm going to put my dog in the middle. I've learned that kind of helps with photograve. Now, all I'm going to do inside of Corel, I'm going to go to bitmap and I don't even know that I have to do this, but I've always done it. I'm going to turn it into a gray scale. Then I'm gonna to go to file and I'm gonna export, I need a JPEG. So I'm gonna go dog test gray. So I'll know it's a gray one. I'm gonna put on my dog um, and I'm gonna export as a JPEG, okay? I'm not gonna worry about all this other stuff. I'm just gonna say, okay. Then I am going to open up Photograve that I've had for 17 years and I love it. I don't do a lot of photographs and I've never really been real successful on wood. I mainly do black granite tile that it really works out. Uh, Jason uses a lot of uh, painted acrylic, uh, not pre-painted. He painted himself with, a, I think, a satin black. I was really surprised that Photograve had, had painted acrylic in their repertoire. So I'm gonna open up. Now, it's gonna ask me if I wanna resize it. I'm not gonna resize it, because it's five by seven. And I think that's what helps me when I make the canvas. Now I'm gonna select, cam uh, select material. I was really surprised, black painted acrylic. You know, there's, you know, marble and granite and all different kinds of woods. And they've got it all figured out. All you do is hit OK. And then you could go to the interactive mode and play around with it, but I, I never have. And then go final process. Look at that. Now I'm going to go to save image. OK. It's going to put it on the doc, desktop. So it's going to be my dog test gray in gray. It's successfully there. So now I'm going to go back into Corel move this out of the way. I am going to go to file and import under my desktop dog. So I didn't have to do any figuring out. And there's that dog still five by seven. And look what it did. Now the, the, for some reason the image is reversed, but that's okay. Cause actually, I'm going to reverse it back by mirroring it. I didn't even notice that, but I did do that. Because when you engrave one, or what I've learned from Jason and his wife, Deanna, when you do engrave, you engrave it on the painted side, but then you peel the, the protection off, and, and that's going to be your side. It's going to be so much sharper, you know, uh, no glare. You know, you can't see the flat. You know, I've learned a lot when you paint acrylic or glass, and you paint one side, you could have streaks and runs. You turn it over and it's all flat black. So Photograve is a, a neat program. Uh, Jason is going, you know, beyond. And there's a lot of other people that do this too, besides Jason and his wife. Um, but if you don't want to take the time and you do a lot of photographs, I mean, that was quick. And I've never... Now, with that said, you know, five by seven acrylic, big deal. It's not gonna cost you a ton of money. But if I was gonna do this on a, like a 12 by 12 granite tile, I'm gonna make a copy of this. And I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna get my crop tool with it selected. And I'm gonna crop out the most important part of this dog. And I'm gonna run that. You know, I normally, I and you might even just wanna run the eyes or the nose. So it saves material, it saves you time, and if that looks good, 
get your other piece in there and run that. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.